Irony has so many uh, possibilities in, in uh, making a motion picture. First, uh, verbal irony in a motion picture can come through uh, the juxtaposition of uh, sound elements, dialogue elements, uh, that are in contrast to other uh, sound verbal elements in a scene. Uh, and the example I'm going to use is a, a character named Joe Lampton. He's torn between using Barron's daughter uh, uh, for social status, professional gain, and the love for Alice. The uh, office staff decide to celebrate his engagement, and they have champagne, and he overhears two ladies uh, whispering in the background that uh, Alice crashed her car and died. At that very moment, the champagne corks open, all the while he is unable to speak, is totally stunned. And what it does is it presents him as, uh, an, for the audience, an indication of someone who was willing to use ambition uh, for personal, professional purposes to a point of destruction. The other one that I'm going to talk about has to do with uh, situational irony. And uh, this is where a, an artfully constructed scene can use different elements, symbols, visual signification uh, to cre create a contrast of a scene that is really belying what its, its, its intent is meant to be. And that's the death scene in The Godfather. Brando sits down on a, on a bench and takes out an orange and peels the orange. Film goers will recall uh, almost caused his death in a uh, ambush by a fruit stand. Grandson continues to play. They rat-a-tat-tat through the uh, tomato plants and the rows. They're having great fun. And suddenly he sees his grandfather uh, lying on the ground. And then the little kid eventually realizes something is far more ominous and he runs away. And it's an example of how uh, objects, uh, you know, uh, symbols, uh, and the tenor of a scene, in this case, a very playful, belies uh, what the whole purpose of the scene is. Irony is really something very intensely wonderful for uh, people, write readers, uh, film goers, uh, in that uh, they are delighted, you know, to be able to find, you know, in the expression. Uh, their own deeper meanings and their own understanding uh, of, of what's going on.